In today's video, I'm going to start a new series on my YouTube channel here, helping you pass the ball better. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is more conceptual, some theory, um, some things that can cross-apply into Madden 21 that's going to help make you a better passer. And what we're going to be talking about is how to develop a complete passing system. And what I mean by that is... You see a lot of videos on YouTube where people can break down like a money play or a you know a a, a cover two beater or cover three beater, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a a little bit of a more in depth tutorial on how it actually all can come together for you. And what I hope happens as a result of this video is that it allows you to look at Madden a little bit differently than you may have ever looked at it before and see the whole picture and why and we're going to talk a little bit about user we're going to talk a little bit about competitive madden high level stuff but hopefully it all comes together and to do that i'm just going to use the arizona offense just because it's the one i'm most comfortable with i know the route's the best but i hope this helps you i really believe it will we're going to jump into it but before we do if you're new to my channel and you've never seen any of my content, any of my videos on Madden, what I do is I just have a channel that's devoted to helping you get better. And if you're interested in a free offensive and defensive guide from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, what I want to ask you to do is join our Discord server. The link is in the description. If you have any issues with the link, you can text me or leave a comment. My number is in the description of this video. You can just shoot me a text and I'll respond within 24 hours. And But the free offensive, free defensive guide will happen once we get 100 people in our Discord. So be sure to be inviting your friends, your Madden friends to that. And uh, it's just a great place for us to talk Madden. Anyway, let's jump in. So curl wheel. So, so in Madden, there's kind of a couple of things that you need to know about passing. The first thing that you need to know about passing is that the, the game plays significantly different depending on the hash. So your routes... You would, run a, want, you would want to run a post route from short side and a corner route to the wide side. So let me give you an example. So for this example right here, you see I'm running a post route. Now, if I run the post route from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field, what that means is that post route is now going to have a lot more room to work as if I was on the other hash. And Madden is certainly a game of hashes, okay? The next thing that you need to know about passing the ball is there's kind of three significant things to me about about it. And the first one is having having routes that work well together with the timing of the route. So that's where something like the play mesh comes in. In essence, mesh, I'm going to look to this guy right here, then I'm going to look to the running back, then I'm going to look to the back side. So literally, I snap the ball, I'm going to peek left, nope, nothing there, then I'm going to go back to the right side of the field, and if nothing's there, I'm going to move. So what I mean by that is having routes that get open at different points in time. Let me show you this in an example here. So if you look at instant replay here, what you're going to see is, and this is just a simple, simple concept, right? Simple passing concept. So at the snap of the ball, you see that the first look that I'm looking is I'm looking at the out route. You see that gets open the fastest. So I could look and see, can I throw that ball? Here I obviously could, but I also look to the right. Can I throw that ball? And here I can. And then from there, you'll see these mesh routes kind of get open after that, after the fact. Same with the running back. So when I talk about progression reads, in air raid offense, they teach you to read grass, like space, which I, I will get into that in just a minute. But having a system for your routes so that when you're looking at each route, they're getting open at different points. For example, this hitch route is going to get open at a different point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to the left. Can I throw that ball? Nope. Then I'm going to look back to the right. Can I throw that hitch route? There, obviously, I throw a pick because it wasn't open. But you see the idea. So having routes that get open at different times, also having routes that are that are designed to do specific things to spe specific coverages. So, for example, you're not always going to know what your opponent is going to be, but what you want to do is kind of figure out what they could be in. So, for example, on this outside guy, I could put him in a deep half. I could put him in an outside quarter. I could put him in a man coverage on Tyreek Hill. I could put him in man coverage on McCall Hardman. I could um, 
cloud flat him. I could hard flat him. I could soft squat him. You know what I can't do? I can't hook curl him. I cannot hook curl him. The reason that's significant is because when you go to run a play, let's just say this is just a very simple example, but if I run something like this right here, in theory, that hitch route should get wide open every time because it's a route concept based off of the zone coverage. Let me show you. So if I go to Tampa 2, this is just a simple, 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 simple concept. So I've got that out route over there to kind of hold the flat zones. And then I've got that little hitch. You see there he sits sits right in front of him if he's in a vertical hook. So that's that's a concept. It's an out route with a hitch. And then what you might do is you might run your running back. You need some kind of vertical route. So from a trips perspective, what you could do is you could take this guy right here and you could throw him on a little curl route. And you'll see here, now that hitch route is going to get wide open every time, as you can see. So the point being, having zones work differently depending on if you're trips or if you're spread. So do you want to go two by two? Do you want to go three by one? And that's a question. And typically the question that I will ask is, what does it mean to go three by one or two by one? So for example, you'll see here, I can go to the mesh play, right? I can go to the mesh play and I can turn this into a three by one mesh just with a simple motion, just with, just with a simple motion here. And it's going to change, change everything about how the defense is going to play it. As you can see. Now, what typically will happen for most defenses is they're going to get some kind of, uh, they're going to get adjusty with their coverages. And so this is where I talk about conceptually, if you actually look at some of the best offenses in Madden 20, if you look at some of the best offenses in Madden whatever year, what you're going to find is a couple of things. You're going to find an ability to attack the sidelines on both sides of the field. Right, so that could be as simple as taking this post route and motioning him to the left, maybe throwing a streak up there to run that guy off with a little block, maybe a little blue route here on the on this guy right here, and then maybe doing a little backside hitch with uh, with Cole Hardman. Something as simple as this route combination, pretty much all done through hot routing, right? But as you can see, we can almost fit that corner route in, but we can now attack both sidelines. What Another route combination, let me show you this really quickly here. This is from the play uh, Mesh Post. So you have a post route on the right side of the field here. Now this post route is going to get open at different points, right? So maybe what I could do is something like this. I could take McCole Hardman and I can run him on an out route because he's not going to run into that receiver, and now it's going to open up that space to be able to throw that route in the back end. The reason all of this matters is because when people talk about offenses and they talk about passing, it's much, much more about the route combinations that you have than the actual formations that you're in. You can be in two by two compressed. I'll show you this. I'll show you an example of this. So if I go to the cluster, the cluster simply is a three by one compressed set. Now I can turn it into a two by two compressed set just with a simple motion. As you can see here, I motion over McCole Hardman and now I can run two by two. And it, this is literally shotgun tight. This is literally shotgun tight, as you can see. And then I can work route combinations off of whatever it is. The reason that's significant, guys, the reason that's significant is because now what you're looking for when you're coming to through your plays is you're looking for route combinations. For example, this route to Tyreek Hill, I can't hot route this route. It's a stock in the game fade route. I can't hot route it. So that's one of the reasons why you would have that play in your audibles. And then when I'm talking about running route combinations from a two by two set, if I with a simple motion over here, now this becomes two by two. This is shotgun tight, right? This is simply shotgun tight. And what I can do is I can take him and I can put him on a little baby hitch route, snap of the ball, and now I've got a, a, an entire concept of a post streak and corner. Or a post to streak and a hitch. It's the same exact concept if you go into mesh post, right? It's the same exact concept if you were to run if we were to run it from the the uh, gun cluster strong. You'll see right here. 
we're running the same basic concept. I can motion this guy out right here like this, and he's on a flat route, very simple. He's on a simple little flat route here, and now you're going to see what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to hit my running back right in this pocket. So those are what I'm talking about when I talk about clock conceptual and that's what I want to do with this series is I want to give you some conceptual teaching that's going to help you because it's going to help you in any formation any formation any offense anything when we talk about passing we're going to talk about a complete passing system and we're going to use principles from the air raid and we're going to talk about some of the air raid principles we're also going to take a couple principles from Dan Gonzalez an article that he wrote about designing a complete passing system and I think the two of those together is going to help kind of color your offense in a new way. You're going to think about offense in a new way. And so if you're looking forward to this series, what I want to encourage you to do is just join our Discord server. If you have any questions about it, send me a text message. My number's in the description. But that Discord server is where you're going to be able to stay up to date with the most amount of information from this series. And I'm just really excited about it. I think it's going to help you guys a lot. Uh, it's going to help me a lot, honestly, doing a refresh on all this stuff. So uh, we'll get in the lab and we'll lock in.